How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're taking a look at the Phelan FX122 quadcopter. Now this is one big quadcopter. It's like a 350 size here. Uh, interesting thing is that the uh, props are hung upside down on this thing. Uh, not like the traditional quads where the props are on the top. So this is pretty unique. Um, I opened this up the other day, uh, took some photos of it. You can see it in the intro of this video. Uh, it is not a brushless motor. It is a brushed motor. Uh, it is the same kind of motor as that of the SEMA X8. And it is geared, as you can hear the gears here. Um, it's got nice landing legs, uh, nice little padding for the landing legs. It sits pretty good. But when you land, you got to watch out because the props are upside down. If you tilt it a little bit, it will damage the prop. So you got to land real carefully here. It is a menacing looking quadcopter though, isn't it? Uh, the battery here is a 2,600 uh, milliamp size battery here with a T-plug. And it comes with the on and off switch and a camera port and some other port that doesn't have anything. Uh, this one can come with a Wi-Fi unit and a gimbal unit, I believe. Uh, but this one was given to me uh, by GearBest and did not come with any camera. So later on, I'll put a uh, Xiaomi E camera with a bicycle helmet mount and see what kind of video I can take. Uh, now, the, because of the props hanging upside down and the camera being hung under the belly, I'm thinking you're going to get a lot of prop view, even the motor mount view. And I'm thinking you're probably going to get some of the landing legs in the video so well we'll find out later let's put that on the side nice looking car copter though huh uh, let's take a look at the transmitter here the transmitter is of the toy grade because these are fox buttons that gives it off right there that is a toy grade uh, this button here is a photo video it is all marked so it's really easy to see uh, headless mode button here uh, the speed button here fast uh, i believe it has three speeds this button here, non-marked, is the flip button. All of these buttons here are trim buttons. All right, I think that's about it. So, and I forgot to mention, this thing has, on paper, 300 to 800 meter range. I don't know if this antenna is a real antenna. I don't think it is anyway, but we're gonna keep it close, line of sight. We're not, we're not gonna go no 800 meters on this thing. So let's go flying. Okay, turning on the quadcopter. Red lights blinking in the back, blue lights in the front, red lights in the back, and a white light in the front. Okay, let's turn on the remote. Okay, now this thing does not bind just by uh, throttle stick up and down. Uh, now, we can calibrate the gyros by uh, both sticks to the bottom and out. Calibrating the gyros. And now when we want to bind with the quadcopter, we have to go both sticks to the bottom and left. Now that bounded the quadcopter, as you see the red light is solid now. Now we have throttle power. Okay, so both sticks to the bottom and left will bind the quadcopter. All right, so let's go. Man, that's a big quadcopter. Without the prop guards, you gotta really watch out for those props. Look like they come down and cut you up. That is the yaw speed. And that is the speed on the low. Oh man, it climbs pretty good. No altitude hold or anything like that. Man, that's a big quadcopter once again. Nice. 
Now let's go to speed number two. Man, it's sort of scary flying this thing actually. Okay, that is the speed. And the yaw. Pretty decent. Now let's go to speed number three. It's got a little more power on speed number three. And it does climb pretty good. I have to decrease the throttle on that turn to stay in the same altitude kind of. You see how it climbs like so? I have to drop the throttle stick down. The response is pretty good. It's pretty accurate. It is a little slow. So by all means this is not a um, speedster. This is more like a camera drone, but you know what? Because of the props being upside down, I don't know if this is going to be a very good camera drone either. All right, let's check out some flips, shall we? Oops. Okay. What's up with the flips? I guess this doesn't do flips. Nope, I'm pressing the flip button and it's not doing any flips guys. So no flips here. Alright, let's check out the headless mode then. Headless mode is right here. Alright. Yep, the headless mode works. And the beeping tells you that the headless mode is on. Going forward spinning. Coming back spinning. I don't want to bring it too close. It looks very dangerous, man. <laughs> okay, headless mode works great. Let me get out of the headless mode. Okay, where's the front? There it is. Nice. So this thing with the headless mode will come in handy because it says it's got 300 to 800 meter range. So when you go out of range and you lose your orientation, then you can turn on the headless mode and bring it back towards you by pulling your pitch stick yep man this thing is menacing looking man still and it sounds mean too all right well i'm not going to wait until the battery runs dry i don't want it falling out of the sky but we will check out what happens when we do lose connection. So we'll bring it in for a landing here. A slow landing. And bring it a little closer. And let's go to speed number one. So I can bring it down gently. Please don't flip over. Ah, thank you very much. Okay. Now let's put on some throttle on this thing and turn off the remote control to see what happens. Okay, now let's got to arm this thing one more time. All right, armed. So you got to arm it every time it lands. Okay, that's a good thing. So you don't get cut up with that prop. Okay, let's... Oh, I passed my time. Okay, there's a small window to turn on the uh, throttle. Okay, let's turn off the power and see what happens. Uh-oh. It continues to go, guys. Okay, finally. It took about five or six seconds to stop. So be careful about that. Now let's turn on the remote control one more time. And see if it rebinds. And bolt sticks to the bottom left. Yep, turns on the lights, and we got connection again. All right. 
do a couple of more speed passes in speed number three and we'll bring it back down. Not a very long flight time, I believe. I believe it says about eight to 10 minutes. I may be wrong. I didn't really memorize the flying time on this thing before I took off. Okay, we'll bring it in and we'll slap on a camera, my trusty Xiaomi Yi camera, and we'll see if there's any jello prompt view. I am pretty sure. Let's go to speed number one again. Oh, almost hit the ground. See what I mean? You got to land it carefully. All right, so let's go put on the camera. The camera is on. Turn on the quad. Turn on the remote. Let's do a calibration. Okay, and now arm the motors. All right. It feels a little heavier than without the camera. But still got lots of power. My throttle is only halfway up, maybe slightly above halfway point. So you can mount the GoPro on it. The GoPro is around the same weight as a Xiaomi E cam. Uh, let's go towards the other side of the park. 300 to 800 meter range, huh? I don't think we're going to go that far. We'll just go within the line of sight where I am comfortable. Okay, turn around. Let the breeze bring it back. Do a little pan. View of the lake. Okay, let's bring it down. A little vortex ring state or propeller wash. I think that's pretty good. We'll land it in the grass. Be very careful when you land this thing. Like I said before, the props are on the bottom. There you go, flipping right over. Good thing I landed in the grass. <laughs> 